What if there was a way where businesses could uncover and free trapped or wasted cash? Money tied up in things you don't need that could be freed and reallocated to more value-adding activities. The trouble is, this is often hard to find, as this kind of intelligent analysis across multiple processes requires a deep understanding of data, not just visualization like most BI tools provide. To show what you could do if you had this kind of understanding, we've built a simple waste control tower in every angle that highlights four types of waste. Materials we are ordering that we don't need, stock we are holding that has no demand, old orders consuming stock, and payments we should have received. Let's start on the left. This gauge highlights all redundant materials that are either about to be manufactured or purchased, but which have no actual demand now or in the future. We can see that the total sum of money about to be spent on these unnecessary materials is 45 million euros, way above the limit of 10 million. Now we want to see exactly what types of demand are responsible for this excess supply. In this graph, we can see that the worst offender is purchasing, with purchase orders and requisitions making up most of the issues, then work orders making up the balance. The second column examines whether there is any excess stock that could be liquidated, as this gauge shows there is a massive 5.1 billion euros tied up in excess inventory across the business. Next, let's examine which company code owns this inventory. It appears that the two business units that are holding the stock are company code 1000 with nearly 3 billion euros worth and company code 3000 with nearly 1.5 billion euros. We can then drill down to see what type of products these are and where they reside, so we can perform a detailed analysis whether to take them out of stock. The next column looks at old and probably unrequired orders that are still open and which are either under or overstating the stock availability situation. This can be a major issue as MRP sees these orders and requests supply based on this information. As we can see, there are currently over 23,000 polluted orders, way over our limit. Now let's break down this number to see the root cause. This chart shows that the biggest issue is where stock is being claimed by polluted sales orders. This means that any new sales orders may fail ATP checking forcing MRP to request new stock when in fact there is plenty. Here we can see that company code 3000 is the main cause of these issues. The final column details how much money the company is owed by late payers. As we can see, our cash flow is missing an expected 162 million euros. The companies that owe this money are listed here, allowing the aged debt team to focus attention on the main offenders. Norwegian Import who owe 43 million euros and Miller & Son who owe 30 million euros. Again, clicking on each bar allows you to drill down to examine the invoices, their related sales orders, products order, and to get the contact details of the customer. This example cross-process waste control tower shows how quickly every angle can be used to identify significant amounts of cash that is tied up, lost, or spent on unnecessary items. Because no business is the same and requires specific parameters, these graphical overviews can also be fully customized in minutes. Now that's being in control. Why blindly cut costs when you can use every angle's cross-process insight to be smarter?